All right, everyone, ranking up in Shindle Life is officially one of the easiest things you can do because all you need now is level 500. Now, it might still seem a little bit intimidating to even rank up in the first place because you do lose all your levels and stats. However, I'm going to help you through it today. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe with post notifications turned on so that you know whenever I'm uploading a YouTube video and you can be the first ones here. And guys, join my Roblox group. It is linked down below. If you join my Roblox group, please come to the store and buy the merch. I'd really appreciate it, you guys. It really helps me out for my future videos so I can continue doing Game Pass giveaways and, you know, showing off the newest things in show life just for you. And yeah, guys, without further ado, let me show you the fastest way to get from the lowest rank to the highest rank easily. So first things first, why would you rank up if you lose all of your stats and levels? Well, because first of all, you can easily just get your stats back and your levels. It's really not that difficult. And the best part is that it's not like you lose your bloodlines or elements or anything. All you're really losing are your stats that you can get back easily. So I'd say ranking up is actually essential for you. Not only because it gets you even higher stats, but also because you can get a lot of spins from this. And if you're someone that really likes to use spins, this is honestly one of the best things you want to hear. But now that you can rank up twice as quickly, you can get so many spins. And pretty much every single rank except for the first one actually gives you spins, depending on how high you are. So I'm pretty sure at max rank, you actually get like 50 spins per rank up, which can actually add up to be a lot over time. But starting off, you will get a little bit less spins, but as you go up and up and up, not only are those spins going to add up, but then the higher you go, the more spins you're going to get. So this is actually a really good method for getting a lot of spins as well. But on top of that, after you reach max rank and you keep ranking up, you actually get times 2 XP for around 15 minutes for free, which is actually really useful. Now this might seem like a long process, but I promise you guys, now that Rogue Games made it twice as easy to rank up, you could probably get to max rank in about a day or two now, which is actually insane. Now to rank up in the brand new update, you actually have to go to your apartment, and if you don't know how to get there, allow me to show you real quickly. So if you're already in a game, you're going to want to go back to the main menu by going to your menu here and going to travel. And then you're just going to click main menu here. So you're going to want to go back to the main menu and then I'll show you what to do from there. And by the way, you guys, we are going to be talking about the fastest way to actually like rank up and stuff so that you can get to where you want to be. But first, I want to show you the basics. But yeah, here we are. We're in the menu here. And once you're here, you guys, all you're going to want to do is go to the game modes. And to get here, you can just click this down arrow once. Or you can just click the up arrow twice and it'll take you right here as well. And you're going to want to go to my home. Now this is where you're going to want to rank up because it's pretty much the only place you can rank up. And yeah, once you're here, you're going to see the rank up thing right here. And you're going to want to rank up. Now you don't have to you don't have to sit there. You can just uh, get up here and just click. But yeah, it's going to ask you if you want to rank up. And if you cl click accept, it says uh, the things that you'll get. So for me, it'll say I get 50 spins and 15 minutes of time to XP. Which is a max rank. So it's going to say you reach a new max tier and there's two options. One, you have to achieve level 500, which is very easy. If, if you click again, it'll probably rank you up. And option two is you could pay 10,000 rel coins to rank up, which actually uh, is kind of funny. But if you want to do that, you can do that, guys, because it's actually not that bad. But I'm not going to be ranking up right now. I don't really need to rank up. I'm like max 29. Maybe I will soon, but not right now. But let's go ahead and let's show you guys how to rank up. So imagine like all the steps you have to take to uh, leveling up in Shindo Life. First you do the logs, then you do the green scrolls, then you do uh, the boss missions. Well you know what, we're pretty much going to make that twice as easier by taking out the boss missions and here's why. And the reason why is because if you're trying to rank up quickly, you really don't need to do it anymore. So think about it like this, the boss's levels like don't really uh, change with your level pretty much and that means that it won't really matter because you're gonna have a hard time anyways if you're like below the level of a thousand. But you know what makes it so good? It's the fact that now you can just rank up at level 500 and you don't have to even do that step anymore. So yeah, the first step I'd always recommend is doing training logs for about five to 10 minutes. The reason why is because you're gonna need some stats first, at least before you do the green scroll missions. And stats are gonna be very important here. I'd recommend mostly putting them into your chi, then jutsu, having HP be your secondary and taijutsu being like if you really want to. but. I personally don't use Taijutsu. If you're mostly a Taijutsu user, I would do that and put most of it into Tai. But she and Ni are, Nin are the biggest things here, so you should probably put them into those two and have HP be your third thing. And then Taijutsu be your last. But yeah, once you have like a, a pretty decent amount of stats ready, you can actually start with the green scroll missions. Now, why green scroll missions are going to be so crucial to this is because if you do green scroll missions, the difficulty is going to be based off of what level you're at, which means that you can have a way easier time if you're a lower level. 
Now here's what the green scroll missions look like. And you're just gonna wanna start these and you can do these in like a minute, you guys. So yeah, as you can see, it says defeat Dawns. Uh, so we're gonna do that real quickly. We could just tree hop there if we really wanted to. So yeah, you're, you're, so yeah, you're just gonna wanna come to this red mark here and you're just gonna wanna kill the enemies. I'm gonna use the new Tengoku Platinum Bloodline. If you guys wanna see a full video with this, let me know. Cause I'd really love to know if you guys wanna see this. I am planning one anyways, so guess you're so you guys can get ready for that, but oh my god. I had a little stuttering issue just now, and uh, uh it kind of messed me up. But as you can see, we defeated them in like literally a minute or two. Again, the difficulty is based off of what level you're at. So if you're a lower level, uh, th that doesn't mean it's going to be that much harder. It's just that you have to put in a little bit more work. But that's a-okay, because by the time you're level 500, it's going to be quick, okay, guys? And then you can just rank up and do it all again. Now that ranking up is so much easier, I feel like so many more people are going to be at max rank and they're going to get a lot more spins. And I think spin codes are going to be a little bit less useful. However, spin codes are always going to be like the number one source of spins in this game. So, I mean, I'm probably wrong. But, but now a lot more people are going to get spins way easier now. And that's actually something I really like. So now newer players don't really have to worry about the toughness of ranking up because now they don't really have to worry. I mean, ranking up is now a lot easier in Shindo life and that's something that's really good. Also, I'm probably going to add text at the beginning of the video, but I'm going to say it now. Our like goal is going to be 420 likes, so let's try to hit that. And yeah, you guys, I hope you found this video informative and useful. If you did, please subscribe to the post notifications because I upload only the best Shindo life videos. And yeah, guys, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.